Intel Sat 6 blasts off successfully on March 14, 1990, but an anomaly in the launch system leaves the satellite orbiting at an inoperable altitude. A wiring error on the unmanned commercial booster rocket marooned the satellite in a useless low orbit after its launch in 1990. Without enough fuel to boost itself to its intended orbit, Intelsat 6 is stranded for two years. NASA launches its new orbiter to rendezvous with Intelsat 6, attach a booster to it, and send it to geo orbit. Three, two, one, booster ignition and liftoff of the maiden voyage of Endeavour on a satellite rescue mission. Though this was not NASA's first satellite rescue, it would be one of the most challenging for the space shuttle program. A mock-up of Intelsat 6 was used to assess how the satellite would respond in space and to demonstrate the capabilities of the unique capture bar. The capture mechanism proved ineffective, leaving the satellite wobbling. Time was running out. While Thuit grappled the satellite, Hebe, from his unique vantage point in the payload bay, served as an extra pair of eyes for the cockpit. Okay, you ready to go for it? Okay, go for it. Hey, Pierre, here we go. Unfortunately, the cards were stacked against the crew this day. Endeavor was forced to back away to avoid a collision with the satellite. Meanwhile, the crew came up with a simple yet revolutionary plan a record-setting three-man spacewalk, a first in the history of the space program. After nine long days in space, the Endeavour crew successfully captures, retrofits, and releases Intelsat 6 back into orbit. Now, more than ever, Brandon Stein must fly a perfect final approach. He accomplishes this with fuel to spare. Wait, wait. Once Melnick used the robot arm to lower the satellite into the cargo bay, a new booster rocket was secured. When it was all over, another record had been set for the longest spacewalk in the history of the space program, eight hours and 29 minutes. Stand by for fire. Three, two, one, fire. Thanks to the sheer nerve and ingenuity of the Endeavour crew and NASA and Intelsat teams on the ground, Intelsat 6 finally reaches geo-orbit on May 16, 1992. It went on to serve customers for 23 years and remains a pivotal episode in the history of satellite communications. <laughs>